Hospital Science and Matt Beauvais this morning is out and about. He's on top of the Museum of Science for a good reason. Hey, Matt. Andy, well, I think it's fair to say that you like your science. Well, a lot of Western New Yorkers will get to take a look at space coming pretty soon. With me, Mark Mortensen from the Buffalo Museum of Science. A big time for you guys at the museum. A new exhibit possibly opening soon? Exactly right. So we're in the final stages of the permanent renovations and transformation here of the experiences at the Science Museum. So the seventh permanent ex exhibition space is under renovation right now, and the eighth and final will be the observatory transformation, the preservation and restoration of the observatory, as well as the exhibit space that we have on the fourth floor of the museum. That's all anticipated to happen by June of 2016. So that observatory has been closed for some time now. I would imagine that would be a big draw for you guys here at the museum, correct? Absolutely right, Matt. The number one question, is the observatory open, is what we get on a daily basis. With the restoration, we'll actually be adding a solar telescope component so people will actually be able to observe the sun's activity during the day where most of the activity has had to happen after the hours that were open so it's going to be absolutely spectacular we have a, a very excited group that we're working with the Buffalo Astronomical Association we have a special website see it through buffalo.org so that people can make their donations and really help to uh, preserve and restore this wonderful treasure of Buffalo well mark thank you so much it seems like a lot of people are excited to come use the new telescope. Andy, I know you were one of those people. We'll send it back inside to you. You and I will come out here and check it out for ourselves once it's redone. All right, Andy? It's been a while since I've been on the roof there, Matt, but that is a stunning view of downtown Buffalo. Thanks for sharing that with us early today.